thank you for joining us on this episode of Escape Pod. I'm David Anthony. You still need to do a countdown. You scare me when you start. <laughs> you want me to do it again? I guess I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Tony Brown. They know me. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I came up with a new idea. Oh, yeah? What's that? I'm going to get a chair and set outside the window. <laughs> And then I'll do my part from out there. Sorry. Because it's I'm nice gonna, outside now. I want to set up like eight GoPros just on you. Yeah. That, I'll be outside, though. No. I'll be playing with squirrels and stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> squirrels trying to get your nuts again, Tony? <laughs> you just have to yell at me, hey. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm doing a podcast. Yeah. Come here and listen for your countdown. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Tony. What? <laughs> we have a guest in the studio. Oh, that's right. We do. That's why we do we have this. Here today? I'm Cassandra Baker. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Great. <laughs> We're doing good. Tony's talking about squirrel nuts. and <laughs> You're talking about squirrel nuts. Oh, no. Don't blame us on me. Don't blame this on me. Now, I'll tell you, um, the reason we have you in today is because you are working on the next edition of Volumes of Blood called Volumes of Blood horror stories that's correct yeah, yeah that's awesome <laughs> awesome and we are actually shooting a little behind the scenes stuff that's uh, gonna be out uh when and when the movie gets closer to coming out did pj tell us it was like subtitled horror stories yeah oh i suck because i didn't remember that wow <laughs> okay <laughs> you didn't have your beer did you probably no nah, that's probably why <laughs> yeah 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 wow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Maybe this is I gonna should be fun. get on social media and pay attention to the world. No, it wouldn't help. Oh. Probably wouldn't help at all. Well, so, yeah, because they've got like Facebook pages. And they do. They Instagrams. Do. And but you're not on Facebook anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Maybe I need to come back and you should connect come back. with the world. You should come back. Welcome Just, back, Tony Brown. <laughs> never mind. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> let's talk about why you're here. So you are now a uh, a special effects supervisor on the film, correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. So um, I guess um, growing up, um, you liked watching different kinds of movies? or I did. I did. Um, my favorite movie as a child uh, was Interview with the Vampire. Oh. Very it came good. out when I was like four years old. Uh, <laughs> Ouch! That was but- <laughs> so, so young. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I I still watch that movie and over over and over to this day. Yeah. Um, but I I really didn't start getting into this kind of thing until I worked for um, a props company for oh. Halloween props. Um, it was um, they made um, props for theme parks, haunted houses, things like that. Um. They, they no longer exist, but <laughs> I learned a lot of what I know from them, and then I had a friend call me up one day and, and ask me to work on uh, a commercial for him, and he's like, you like zombies, right? And I was like, yeah, I love zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it just kind of took off from there. It's very cool. Was the, the prop company here in town? Um, it was in Hartford, Kentucky. Hartford, okay. Because I, I thought we had one here in town, like Fright Factory or something it was called. Uh, there was a prop factory. Um, and I think before that it was Dreamscape Studios. And then they renamed Maybe it Maybe that's prop what I'm factory. thinking. It okay. may be. That's cool. That's cool. So, like, what all did you did you do there? I mean, well, um, a little bit of everything. They were just trying to teach me everything they could. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, so, casting, um mold making uh all, all sorts of things painting my oh, favorite part was the artistic thing so <laughs> well that's fantastic i mean and obviously that really helped you where you're at now <laughs> right right so that's that's good because um you know that's some stuff that there's a lot of people that you know find it interesting you know like we were talking about before we w- went on about like like dave when he got started uh he just he just liked those kind of movies and grew yeah. up with sci-fi and horror and really enjoyed it, you know, and and just started trying to figure out well, who did it, you know, and how can I get a hold of them <laughs> right. to talk to them about what they did and how, how they did, did it. How did they do it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so that sounds like you had a really good in being uh, working in that. Uh, so, so, yeah. um, so are you? Are you? I mean, obviously, you work in effects and stuff, which has to do a lot with horror movies and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. Are you really into horror movies? Do you really like scary I movies? Do, I do. Do you? Uh, during, before the last shoot, I had a whole bunch of things to finish um, project-wise mm-hmm. um, before we could complete the Volumes of Blood shoot. Um, and so I just kind of did a horror movie marathon. <laughs> Nice. So, anything on Netflix was fair game. So. <laughs> <laughs> we watch a lot of Netflix horror movies, don't we? So you watch Zombievers, right? <laughs> what is it? Zombievers? 
Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh no. No, it's now on my list, though. It's on there. Put it on the <laughs> Bump it to the very top. Okay. Like, it's the greatest, <laughs> cheesiest horror movie ever. I love it. I think they purposely made bad effects just for the right. campiness of it. Well, yeah, it's got a lot of cheese. I started watching um, Oculus, and I thought, oh. like, I didn't watch it at first because I thought it would be really stupid. Mm-hmm. And then um, I sat down, and I was working, and then I ended up getting pulled away from working because mm. I had to finish it. So Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's, it's not a bad really movie at all. It. Yeah, it's kind of weird, twisted. Definitely weird, <laughs> twisted. I think she talk about you, Tony. <laughs> did you like the ending though? I did. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it, it was it was different. No one had a happy ending. See, oh, well, see, I like that part, but it kind of got a little predictable for me. I guess uh, because I've enough. watched so many horror movies <laughs> that I really just want that twist, and nothing is right. really thrown a twist at me lately. Yeah. So I'm searching because that's what I do. I just watch Netflix <laughs> endlessly. All the horrible, I like really bad Japanese horror movies. Oh, he gosh. likes a lot of Japanese horror movies. Like bad, bad, like <laughs> zombie ass, like just the worst <laughs> Japanese horror movies there are. They lots just make no sense. Yeah, they're just absolutely gory, and that's just the best part of it. And he does, he watches a lot of, could burn me a couple of DVDs, watch this. And I'm like, I don't understand language. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just watch it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've watched a lot of oddball horror movies because of him anyway what and you loved them i did most of them <laughs> you didn't even watch them <laughs> yes i did because i've told you stuff about him you're like oh yeah i forgot yeah. that part that's because you watch the youtube clips that's the idea i said what's the highlights of this so i can tell tony whatever i want <laughs> he figured me out darn it yeah. just kidding. it's just but uh, just what just watch them i do i do i love horror movies i mean love horror movies <laughs> and and on this on this new movie the volumes of blood mm-hmm. that uh, that you're working on so how did um how did it come about to where um you know to where you got i guess i guess auditioned or or got um, sought um, out well i pj says that he saw um a, another independent film i had worked on uh fall of gray skull oh yeah um i was the special effects supervisor for that one and he saw the melting face on that one and if you haven't seen it you need to check it out it's pretty awesome i definitely Um, will (laughs) he did he saw the melting face and he was like okay we got to call her in and so they did kind of interview me and and gave me the list of special effects and like can you do this and i said sure let's let's give it a shot so awesome. so far so good yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i've and i've seen um, some of the effects just for the the next section because they do there's basically it's an anthology so there's like five or six different mini movies right. in one big movie and they'll have like different types of horror elements to it which so and there's pieces like 20 something deaths you're like going to be doing five deaths nice. yeah something like that yeah. yeah it's crazy so you're going to be busy yes <laughs> I've called backup. So. Then, good, good deal, good deal, good deal. I have a totally weird, like, branch off question about Fall of Grey Skull. Okay. Um, you worked with Brian Cage, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Is that dude as huge as he really looks? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious because awesome. I don't, I don't know. He's the dude that plays He Man, <laughs> right? And he's an independent wrestler. Oh, cool. and just from I, seeing him on TV, he looks like he's three times bigger than Jonathan. <laughs> oh wow! So I was just wondering if he was really as big as he looks on yeah, TV. You mean Scott Sexton? Oh yeah, Scott Sexton. <laughs> Sorry, Scott, what are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Breaking the third wall. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious if that dude was actually. Well, that and, big. and I just went to LA um, back in April to visit because um, he had to come here from LA to to do the movie and everything, mm-hmm. and he's like a big part of the Lucha Underground. Yes. So I got to watch a few of those oh, matches yeah. in person and awesome. it was really neat it was very cool tony's a big wrestling fan <laughs> yeah i'm a big wrestling dork it was cool yeah that would have been awesome if you ever get the opportunity yeah I, I was hoping that the, like lucha underground would like leave california mexico and come this way but <laughs> yeah. i don't think it's ever gonna happen. it doesn't seem like it they've uh, they've got a pretty cool setup there yeah <laughs> yep that is pretty cool though Yep. Small world, isn't it? Wrestling, <laughs> horror movies, you know. You're in heaven, aren't you? Dorky stuff. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm not saying that you're a dork, Tony. I am. Yes. Yes, I'll you admit are. It. That's all right. That's why we love you. Yep. <laughs> all right. So, um, so uh, like, you had to do a, um, I, I guess, a head. I did. This last one. Now, did you do live cast and everything? I did. I did oh, the live awesome. casting. Um, and then... Um, 
we molded it with gelatin and Mm -hmm. it looked exactly like our actress yes it did it did look just like her (laughs) it was crazy everybody was was very thrilled with it so that made me happy (laughs) well she and she when there's a a part when she walked over to the table and uh, we have your effects things laid out and yeah. she she kind of looked at it and she's just like looking down at it and it's like <laughs> she just kind of stepped back she goes it's not a mirror that's weird <laughs> it was it really looked that, that good. would be kind of freaky to see <laughs> to her look own at head yeah, yeah. And knowing that it's going to get whatever viciousness happened to it pretty soon <laughs> oh yeah that would be crazy oh yeah this is what you would be if you were a severed head <laughs> <laughs> sweet huh <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be great you know what was what was my probably my, my favorite part not a really big effect but uh i, I grew up with the school with eric uh who's you know one of the owners of the blood moon pictures and then uh and then he uh he of course he's in the part that you were in he actually is uh, acting in this part mm-hmm. and um um let's just say he has a, an effect scene um that's um i don't know kind of um hedge clippers kind of violent <laughs> lots of blood gruesome yeah yeah it was pretty pretty awesome so yeah so uh, what was it like uh, rubbing his throat out uh it was a blast <laughs> <laughs> we, we had to cast him for that too um do life casting so uh, uh, just on his neck and everything yes, uh, that's yeah cool. it's that way we could really cut into it <laughs> yeah and, and i was i was there when she was actually matching the skin tone and everything to on the on the prosthetic, uh, it was really cool. Go, cool. yeah. I was giving him a hard time. So it was not hard. She just got to bring some white paint out, Casper. And- <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been out in the sun yet. He's so funny. So. so, are you a fan of digital effects at all? Since you do so much practical stuff, I mean, I personally don't have a lot of experience with it. Um, but I mean, if it if they can make it look good, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's- sometimes it goes hand in hand. Well, I, I like it when they only use it to hide, like, blood tubes and stuff. Like, right. I'm cool with it then. Yeah. But, like, with the, I forget which one it was, but the uh, the Underworld yeah. movie where the, the blood just looked like shiny, metallic. It looked like such crap. And I was like, yeah. you have such a better budget. Yeah. Yeah. And Why couldn't you big. just. Why couldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Just use, you know, old school blood. <laughs> you know, don't use weird It's so messy that way, though. Stuff. Nobody. But that's the best part about it. It is. It totally yeah, but you is. know, on a, on a movie like that, though, they seem like they're trying to be, like, you know, they want their blood to be different than everybody else's, like special well, vampire it different, blood. Right. It, was like, right. it looked horrible. Or at made, least they weren't sparkly vampires. And, <laughs> but it was sparkly metallic blood, so it was just as just bad. Just as bad, huh? <laughs> exactly. It that's wasn't funny. like awesome Tom Savini, almost orange. Ah, Tom Savini. <laughs> He's great. You know, He's great. horrible eighties blood. I mean, it was awesome, but it just had that really off color. And that's what I liked about it. I mean, you just you knew. Yeah. It wasn't that deep red, but it was that right. weird like seventies, eighties. Right. I always called it Savini blood because he always had that I think he had that weird orange tone to all his blood and I was like, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it definitely uh, was kind of a trademark for him and his uh, as effects with all the movies that he did over the years. And he had some good movies. Awesome movies. Yep. And plus, he was Sex Machine. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Yeah. He was that. He yeah. was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All righty then. Moving on. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, so when you uh, about this, uh, the, the one movie that you that you've done is the Fall of Grayskull. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, how did that come about for you? Um, well, it was the the same director that asked me if I like zombies for the commercial. So I nice. I had done um, two commercials for him, uh, zombie commercials for Kia and Hyundai, um, and they were aired in Nashville and Bowling Green during the Walking Dead commercial break. So that was really exciting to be Hell the yeah. first thing I've ever worked on. And, yeah. But then he called me up and he was like, "Well, um, we are about to do a short fan film, and I just want to see if if you want to be a part of it." And Absolutely. I'm not going to turn that down. So he kind of showed me their Kickstarters and um, what they were planning to do with it. And same same type of situation, special effects list. This is what we need. Mm-hmm. Can you get it done? So Yeah. So didn't have a decent budget for that? Um, yes. Uh, overall, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for, at least for the effects, maybe not for you. <laughs> right. right, right. Um, yeah, it wasn't bad. We, we made it work. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So, so when when you do, I guess they're saying you know they interviewed you. D- 
do they ever ask you to just be like hey bring your kit and make us something i've not had anybody ask me to do that but i would love to do that that would be so much fun a- anytime i i go and i'm hanging out with friends or or i'm like out on a date i'm like okay so the next time we hang out can i just make you up like a zombie <laughs> that would be <laughs> really fun and then they kind of look at me sideways and they're like oh yeah you really are weird aren't you yeah. not weird not at all <laughs> unique yeah, that unique. I'll awesome. take that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if maybe you had to, like, just, you know, they'd no, be like, I you wish. got, like, 30 minutes to ever. come up with something. <laughs> kind of like a face-off kind of deal. I'd probably like, be, you know. like, sweating bullets, though. Yeah. I don't know. That, that kind of pressure? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, my gosh, no. Can I just go out on a date instead? <laughs> Please. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. uh, so is, is face off something you're like maybe hoping to get on one day i've never considered i mean like everybody considers it whenever you you're in this type of industry i think um and then everybody kind of always oh you should audition for face off you should try it you should try it i don't know I, i've never really sat down and watched a full season right yeah um but what i have seen of it seems a little unrealistic and some it of it's very brutal. stressful yes it does yeah um and a friend and a friend of mine uh, was talking about it recently and and she said you know those chemicals they they take time whenever you cast someone and you mm-hmm. make molds they take more time than what they're allotted to set up yeah and and cure uh, so it just so it almost fake doesn't, in the reality yeah, show. yeah it just okay. it doesn't make sense to me so yeah i mean i don't know it, it seems, seems fun but it, yeah it does and it's neat some of the effects you see oh yeah but They're um incredible. but yeah but i mean as, as much as you think you know wow it'd be nice to win that and and to win the the prize money and the in the oh, yeah. art kit and everything you know it as much as you can gain off of it it seems like you know they catch you in a bad light or a bad day yeah and it can ruin you it really could. from ever working again you know, oh, it's like, oh, we saw your face off. I don't know if I'm going to hire that person because you see what she did season four, <laughs> episode, whatever. Well, and, and for shows like that, I feel like they try to create drama. Yeah, too, they're going to so. want to, you know, how could you work with that person? She's so <laughs> insensitive and mean. You know, and it's like nothing like what you really are. You know, I right. just, I just, yes, it's kind of cool to watch, but a lot of times when it starts getting at each other's throat and stuff, I just turn it off or I'll just won't go back to it because it, I don't want to see people like that, yeah. you know? Absolutely. They try and capture you in the worst light. They really do. Kind of like Tony does it's me all the time. It's more entertaining that way, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's entertaining. It's great. Bloodlust. Let's do it. <laughs> I never try to catch you in the worst light. <sighs> I don't really need any help, do I? <laughs> He's like, it's a constant glow on you, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> I just quit when you fucking start becoming an asshole. <laughs> That's why you'll never quit. I quit earlier. To, oh, by the way, I quit pretty much every episode. Every episode. No. I quit before this episode even started. <laughs> before you even got here, I quit. You didn't. You never do. You just started this thing a couple couple episodes ago. Oh, you didn't know. I was quitting. No, you weren't. I just wasn't you voicing my opinion quit. about how much I was It's in your contract. <laughs> Where's this contract at? I don't know. It sounds good. It's a verbal. If, if there's a contract, there better be money involved because I haven't seen it's any a yet. verbal. Oh, you'll get paid, big boy. Okay. Was a syndication? <laughs> You're a big time <laughs> syndication. I don't know. Just making shit up. Okay. Oh, goodness, she's she's like, what am I <laughs> doing well, maybe, here? Maybe instead of getting paid, I can get a Macbeth shoe contract. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, because yeah. because you like Lifetime those shoes, don't shoes. you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, they're some, vegan. Some really good Freddies. They're vegan. I'm not a vegan, but the shoes are vegan. So shoes are vegan. All the vegans out there support this shoe company, and if you're not vegan. Send me money and I'll eat a steak while wearing it. <laughs> Send me money. Wow. Okay. Where you can check out our episodes are outbreakpodcast.com, by the way. We also have YouTube channels and, uh, and, and they other can things watch like me that. Eat a steak wearing vegan shoes and send me money. <laughs> and then the vegans can send me money to not eat steaks wearing their shoes and pet their little calves. Tony. <laughs> T- Tony. Yeah. Tony, we have a, we have a guest in the studio today. Oh, hey. that's okay. You, you can eat a steak and wear your shoes, and then we'll go audition for Face Off. It's all good. Excellent. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It works. I have a coke and a smile, baby. <laughs> I'll bring yeah. crayons, paper, and be like, "This is my special effect." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, special. You showed up on the short butt. Anyway, so, but when you're uh, all right, <laughs> wow, we're gonna get this back. We're gonna come focus this back here. So, uh, so like um, with the new movie with PJ and mm-hmm. and, and getting uh, this going, you've there's like s- 
four, five more? I believe so. I think there yeah. are five more um, um, episodes. Episodes. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the best way to describe uh, it. Filming sessions. That's what we'll call it. Weekends. Yeah. So, yeah there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not involved in the next one. There's not a whole lot of special effects in that one. Um, right. But the the very next one, it's it's a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. That's what I hear. I hear it's a big one. <laughs> so do you have a crew, or is it just you and like one other person? Uh, well, they have been awesome as far as supplying uh, PAs um, Mm -hmm. to help out anywhere we need. Um, And I did have one other person on set with me um, this last time, Josh Morris. He actually built the blood cannon for me. And that was really worked good, too. It was pretty cool. It was was awesome. Yes. We got to use it like two or three times, and he was like giddy. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. You'll have to see that. uh, Yeah, that does sound awesome. That visit for that one. That was awesome. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Blood cannon. I get images of my head. Just (laughs) blood cannon. And it it was. It looked really good. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Awesome, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. I got to make it next time. Yeah, well, I'm, I'll make sure you know well in advance so you can be there. Come drag <laughs> me out of the house. I will. I'll come pick you up. Okay. So we'll be in the background stopping <laughs> right. the cameras going. Oh. <laughs> I'll be awkwardly grinning at it because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You're awesome. So I'll, um, I'll be doing the same thing. I'll just be like, yeah. That's so <laughs> awesome. When he starts seeing blood and gore, he's like, yeah, more blood, more blood. <laughs> Cut. No oh, more blood. <laughs> There's no less escort me out. <laughs> Security. Up? Bunch of PAs to drag his ass out. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> He'll get in your face. You trust me. You'll just you just leave. I don't want to mess with him. I don't want to make Eric mad. Uh, no, we love P- PJ and Eric are, are awesome, and um, it's really good that the, the way things are caught on for them, and, and the way they're uh, they're doing the producing, you know, these movies, and uh, and there's a lot of talented people, in it, like yourself, yeah. well, thank and you. uh, and uh, well, it's true, it's very true, and uh, and a lot of the people they they pulled together from, you know. People for coming up from crews from Paducah and Evansville, yeah. and uh, it's really neat. <laughs> you got plans after this one for anything yet? Um, not at this time. I'll probably take a, a short break <laughs> after this one because <laughs> there's quite a bit involved. Um, but typically around Halloween time, I'm pretty busy. Oh yeah, it's um, coming up, and yeah, it? yeah. So I'll be taking clients for makeup appointments and things like that. Nice. Yeah, because you you do a lot of um, I've seen like you on your Facebook or you know just made up friends and yeah stuff. yeah i was trying to create a portfolio that way uh, i kind of fell off the bandwagon after a few of them <laughs> but well no, that's and that's a good way to do it and hopefully you're documenting all this new stuff you're doing too right yeah working on it <laughs> yeah lots, lots of pictures of what you're doing now yeah. that'll help yeah. yeah what's your musical taste lean to um let's see lately i've been listening to a heart a lot of hard rock um i went to the louder than life festival and kind of got on this kick and like haven't fallen nice. off of that yet so nice um but i can get on board with just about anything because um, i was gonna say because you, maybe you can connect with a local metal band you know metal dudes are always wanting something bloody and gory in their videos that would be cool you know and you that could would be really cool maybe get some stuff going with those guys that would be neat. Yeah. Well, you need to dig around for us. So you can find something <laughs> for her, buddy. I can do that. All right. You work on that. I like polka. <laughs> no polka. <laughs> Thrash metal. <laughs> yeah. Polka. <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah. Jeez, so anything outside of horror, though? Do you like have any like sci-fi? Um, I mean, I, I've done a few sci-fi makeups for friends, um, but I've not done anything movie-wise outside of horror. Right. Horror is my favorite, and yeah. it's I can do it. You know, <laughs> like I know I can do it. Sci-fi, there's a little more um, left to the I don't know the director or my imagination or whoever's creating the character. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like that would be a little harder, but it would be a cool challenge. All right. <clears throat> I just I didn't know if maybe like you had in mind like some weird period piece like <laughs> medieval. No, I would love to do a zombie film though. That, that would, would be, be really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to get PJ on that. Right. His production company. Let's make a horror. Let's make a really cool zombie movie. <laughs> he does need to make a zombie movie. He does. I agree. He hasn't got well. Maybe we'll work on it. I can be zombie number four. <laughs> he'll he'll listen to this podcast and he'll be like, "That's what we got to do next." Yeah. Yeah. Zombie movie. It'll work. Zombie movie at a metal show with a local band playing. Heck yeah! And the whole crowd becomes zombies. It's a party. And then they kill the band. Yeah, 
<laughs> Sweet. Yeah. And then, then it, it ends. Kind of, kind of like Green Room, huh? but, but I worse. I haven't seen Green Room yet. Oh, you got to see Green Room. That's really... <laughs> I've been slacking on my newer movies. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Green Room either. Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Patrick Stewart. Mm, I'm telling you, you... Yes. Yeah? Yes. I'm still on you my only, bad you, Japanese mo- horror movie kick. That's cool. And then there was, a, there was a horror movie that we watched, or I watched, I told you about it, the, I don't know if you saw on Netflix, called Hush. Uh, it's I new. I feel like it showed up on my feed, but I haven't watched it You should it yet. definitely watch it, because it's not like... I mean, I won't, I won't ruin it for you, but okay. it's like it, it starts off one way, and you're like, oh, that's kind of interesting, and you're like, oh, it's kind of a suspense, and it does have suspense horror in it, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, not what I expected, no, exactly, okay. it's it's gonna it's gonna take you on a few different twists okay. and turns to it. I did watch the Human Race today, okay, and even though it was kind of sci-fi-ish, I guess mm-hmm. it was super gory. Was it? Okay. So you should check that one okay. out. Okay. So that would maybe you know. I've got I've got all these new suggestions. I got I got to get home and start watching TV. (laughs) (laughs) Going to podcast and I get all these new suggestions. What are you trying to tell me? No, (laughs) it's uh, but there's so much diversity and things that you can do with your craft, which is awesome. So and I like I said I I've seen your work uh, so far and I know you got a lot more great things coming. Excited. And uh, I mean I'm excited to see it too and I, and I know we'll bring him to the set next time when you uh, when you have that. Uh, when that I'm next not big, so much of a slacker. And <laughs> I'll make sure he's avoiding there. Avoiding public. But he uh, yeah the paparazzi and Tony. <laughs> <sighs> it's just yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> right. Anyway so, uh, <laughs> so so yeah so once you know if, if I can you know get him in the limo we'll bring him by and let him uh, let him check out some. <laughs> work but uh, but yeah it's uh it's i'm looking forward to it and um and like i said with um with the mind that pj has and the things that he you know puts into it and the uh i mean you know the little teaser trailer that he came up with and and shot it in you know like an hour yeah. and then edited it together and put it out there and it's ready to go and it's like it has nothing to do with the movie and that's right. what he likes doing those right. little teasers like just to get you fired up and you're seeing it, you're like oh my god i'm fired up <laughs> You know, am, am, have you seen it? Right, yes. Yeah, it's great. The girl in it was actually she went to high school with me. Did she? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. I met her earlier. Um, she was supposed to work on another movie and didn't. Or oh my no god, what is her what name? About. Yes, you do. Friend of your brother's. Dusty. Oh, Lexi. Yeah, yeah, Lexi. Um, she was one of the PAs on the set. Oh, okay. Um, Anyway, you, this where you were going, you it was lost just me. totally lost you, didn't I? <laughs> that doesn't take much. Have a beer, Tony. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I quit. Aren't you? Aren't you glad these uh, podcasts are free flowing and nice and easy going? I quit. You don't. You don't quit. You're not allowed to quit. You can't quit. Don't be a quitter. <sighs> Turn the mic back on. You mess up the signal. <laughs> Seriously. I broke it. it don't break it. <laughs> I can't afford more stuff. I don't need my signal. I quit. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's being goofy. He's goofy. So, um, so you're going to take a little time off after this movie then? then I think uh, so, yeah. uh, You know, I don't blame you. I mean, it's big time. And then by this, the time it's over with, you'll, like I said, Halloween and stuff will be, yeah. will be coming Kicking up. up. <laughs> yep. 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 Because then you'll get to do the press tour and all the showings and that would be really fun yeah we've yeah. talked a little bit about that um just go into the different um conventions and, mm-hmm. and showing it and see what type of reaction we get that would be a lot of fun yeah there's there definitely there was going to be uh conventions involved that you'll be able to to yeah. go to and, sh- and you know uh, showings of the of the film and stuff so i'm i think it's going to be it's going to be great and i and i think it's really going to surpass the first one yeah. um which so prepare to get busy so <laughs> yeah because the first one everybody we'll absolutely loved and you know. it was it was gnarly it so. was very cool yeah yeah and you do and you do have one uh, one project to do soon is to get on the imdb and update your profile <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you can you can do it it's easy to do it's easy to do and and you can you put pictures of your work stuff up there and uh, what oh, films and stuff you're associated on. So it was like they already got you up there for the uh, for the fall of Grayskull. Yeah. But uh, but that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. 
Well, we really appreciate you coming in today and being here on our podcast. And hopefully, we'll get to talk to you more on set because we're going to be doing some behind-the-scenes things. And we'll do some interviews there as well, which will also appear on our YouTube channel and uh, and probably on the on the Blu-ray for uh, for this movie when it comes out. Cool. Awesome. (laughs) Wait, hold on. Yep. We're not ending yet. It just says they found the Pennywise for the remake. (laughs) (laughs) You mean the actor? Yes. You're silly. I don't know. Really? That's who they say they want to get. All right. Mm. The dude from Hemlock Grove. (laughs) All right. Well, that was something we really need to stop the podcast and put the brakes on for. (laughs) That was important, damn it. They're trying to ruin a classic legendary movie. (laughs) No, they're going to make a new one, a really good one. Cassandra, thank you so much for being a part of our podcast today. (laughs) And thanks for downloading. And wait, there's some. I'm just kidding. I know. You're being a dork. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm David Anthony. Oh, Tony Brown. And we're out of here. See ya. Bye.